Okay. I forgot it. Okay. This is Adam Lambert. What's the song called? Shame. Shame. I'm just... F minor's a really weird key. We played all in bar, but he just came by one. Played on E minor. Um, there's that lead part right at the beginning, and I like it a lot. This part. We're palm muting on the fourth, oh, third, fourth, and fifth string. I'm going to start that lick with my ring finger. And remember, I taught you about the technique of using one finger per fret. So I'm not sliding my hand at all. Anything that's played on the eighth fret is pointer finger, ninth fret is middle, tenth fret is ring, eleventh fret is pinky. So I'm going ring, 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 pointer, ring, middle. And I'm palm muting that. A good way to get a crisp sound out of your pick is to angle it just a little bit. But I have to like. Find that sweet spot. If my hand is slid even a little bit too over, too far over to the left, it'll sound like this. Nothing. But if I move it too far over this way, it sounds like I'm just playing it. So we gotta find that sweet spot right there. I'm just barely touching it. That's the first half of it. Down here, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. That verse is just going to be a C and a D back and forth. C, D, C, D. But we got to come up with a core way to play. I'm not just going to go. Because like we hear like that, bum, 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 bum. like it's funky. It's like there's there's some soul behind it. So I'm, I'm only playing this chord just a little bit. Like, like two hits. Um, I'm voicing this one. It's that voicing I showed you that we played in that, uh, that Queen song. Quarter finger on what would be a C, but it's actually a C sharp. Fourth fret, ring finger on the sixth fret, third string, just making a power chord, and then we have that pinky. The other two. Excuse me, are muted. Because that's a bar chord, there's no open strings, I can just gently pull up. And I can slide it. From like the fourth fret to the sixth fret. One chord I'm hitting before I, like as a transition back into that, that C. It's kind of a weird chord. We can either play just these three or, or all five of them. It's like a, it's a pretty chord, but I'm a, I don't even know what chord that is, honestly, I have no idea. It's going to be a pointer finger on the 2nd string, 3rd fret, pinky on the 6th fret, 3rd string. So it's like a power chord, only it's going to that 6th interval instead of that 5th interval I told you about. I just dropped my pick inside of my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to... Wait. I got one try. If I don't get it out first try, then I'll use a different one. I'm typically pretty good at this. Yay! <laughs> It took okay. me 10 minutes to get mine out of mine. <laughs> yeah, you get better at it. Yeah. <laughs> so, pointer finger, second fret, second string. Middle finger, sixth fret. Sorry, it's third fret. I'm saying relative to the capo. Third fret, sixth fret, 
back to the pointer, although that can be metered if you want. Middle finger is on the fourth fret, and this is either barred with the pointer or muted. So altogether, if we're using those voicings of chords and some mutes and rhythmic strums, a slide. Sometimes, like, you, you can either play the whole thing through or mute these, those two strings with your pointer finger, whatever you feel like. If you want to fill those out, we can play a major seventh and a dominant seventh. Or you could just do simple power chords. But that, that transition is going to have to be that sixth gap back into the C. So if you want to keep it simple, we could just do C, D, C, D. If you want, if you want to spice it up a little bit. I honestly forget how the chorus goes. Let's listen to it. Okay, chorus is really simple. It's got two lines. First line, E minor, C, you can use a cheat C, G, and a D. I wouldn't voice it traditionally, I would use either just a limited version of it or the uh, city and color D. So it's E minor, C, G, D. Second line is E minor, C, G, and then either an A minor or an A minor 7. So the chorus is... 